Hi my safari tribe, welcome to the safari channel, I'm Kevin Holroyd and this channel is going to be all about sharing the wonders of Africa with you and my experiences as a safari guide. More after the intro. Welcome to my office. Now I want you guys to picture yourselves sitting in these empty seats and joining me on safari. In this video, a battle royale between uh, lions and hyenas, some bush facts, and for the rest, well, you'll just have to hop on board and come and find out for yourselves. Just having a good look around, see what we can find. Still fairly quiet. Maybe not a bad time to tell you guys a little bit more of my filming technique. Now, you can appreciate I need to drive, do the gear shift, talk on the radio, uh, all while looking out. So it's not studio based. So sometimes if it's a little bit shaky or there's wind noise, I just want you to bear with me. It's, uh, it's part of the experience. Morning. Seen any lions? No? Nothing? Okay. Nice little herd of zebra. Look at this guy looking over his buddy. Hi there, buddy. Now, folks, more specifically, uh, this is the Plains Zebra, formerly known as your Birchall Zebra, and it's the most numerous zebra species that you will find out here in Southern Africa. Absolutely stunning, very photogenic of those very unique coat patterns of theirs. Yeah, some more zebra love going on. It's actually a very common pose. You very often see zebra. The one standing with his head on the other one's back, like these two are doing. And of course, their friends are silent. Fascinating animals, um, loads of interesting facts about them, which I will slowly tell you about over the next few videos. Um, of course, that print pattern you see, that coat pattern, is unique to every single individual zebra. Uh, it's, it's like a fingerprint. And uh, there's a few different purposes to it, of which I'll tell you more in a later video. Just got to love zebra. Yet, <laughs> sorry guys, this bonnet is a bit hot. It's summer in South Africa and uh, this week a bit cooler, but last week, promise you, you could literally fry an egg on this bonnet. Uh, what I wanted to say, iconic African animals, favorite of everybody coming out on safari to see zebra. And as I said, coming up in future videos, there will be more interesting facts about them. But let's cut away, let's go and have a look at those lions and uh, hyena that is competing over that wildebeer skill. Let's head out. There we go. Hello, ladies. You can see it's getting hot. Uh, I've got four lionesses here, all in the shade of this beautiful shepherd's tree. So you can see uh, the a big lioness with her head up. She's panting away. So that is basically a way of first dissipating heat. Uh, through the uh, thin lining of the mouth with the moisture it dissipates heat but also she's very very full 
and by panting it actually speeds up the metabolism to get rid of all the meat they had. So the strange thing about this sighting is it is right next to the airstrip. So yeah, it might be interesting for planes coming in and out. Let me go and see if I can find where the kill was and apparently there's also a hina in the area. So and let me just take a little bit of a scout around and see if I can find more. One more lioness coming over. I would presume she came from behind that green thorn bush so I presume that is where the kill is. We'll go and check it out in a second. But let's just first see her joining up with the rest of the pride. So in other words it's five lionesses. Yep she's also saying it's time for shade and rest. There we go. Plonk down in the middle. As you can see, quite full bellies. Oh, here comes the you know. Let me pan over. Here comes a whole bunch of uh, hina over the airstrip. You see this lioness has now left that kill and here they come. Let's go and have a look. Oh, she's going to chase them. Yep. Get away. My kill. My kill. Here comes the rest. Whoa. Typical standoff between lions and a hina on an airstrip. Guys, our timing was absolutely perfect to get that action. Right, there's the unfortunate blue wildebeest with one lioness on guarding duty. And uh, spotted a hina. I think I quickly counted 11 of them. Let's be patient. Let's uh, sit around. This lioness might become impatient again and leave it for to go to the shade and uh, then there might be some more interaction. So let's be patient and see what happens. Here come the clan again. Round number two. It's actually a very common misconception that hyenas are only scavengers. Uh, they are very successful hunters in their own right. And especially with a big pack like that. If it wasn't that there was five lionesses here. Here we go. Oh, we go. Listen to that noise. Here comes another lioness from the left. The other two lionesses. Be ready. The battle round number three is about to commence. See, this lioness is super hot now. She wants to get to the shade, but uh, she also knows as soon as she turns her back that those spotted hyenas are going to be back. So she's now decided, no, let's move this carcass. Probably want to drag it over to where where the other li other lionesses are behind us in that uh, in that shade of that tree. There we go. Yep, that's a better idea. 
bear with me. I'm just going to reposition us so when she drags it over towards where the rest of the pride is, that uh, I can actually get some footage for us. You can actually hear her panting and such hard work in the sun. And there's easily half of that blue wildebeest left still, so there's a good few kilograms that she needs to uh, drag over to her sisters and her, and her siblings to my right here. Yeah, I just had a look over to my left to where those hyenas were and uh, they've decided to give up the game. They are all leaving probably back to their den site. It's way over their bedtime in any case. They're normally noc uh, nocturnal predators and scavengers. And there we go. Wildebeers nice and safe and in the shade so they don't have to run up and down chasing our hyena anymore. Now they will probably be uh, easily definitely for the rest of the day um, and um, will feed periodically, rest periodically, at least the hyena threat is now over. Right everyone, I think we had the best of the action. Uh, our timing was good, just as all the action started happening. This is where I'm going to leave them. Um, I think with uh, their kill now safely secured, uh, not much action except intermittent feeding is going to go on. So fantastic, fantastic, let's head out. Stunning, stunning sighting. Hope you guys enjoyed that, I certainly did. Let's head further down the road. Yeah, I've got something interesting to show you. Let's park up and let's have a look. This is the exciting part of being on safari. You see some of these animal signs and you don't know what it is. So I'm not going to tell you straight away. I want to get you to get your juices flowing a bit and we'll do some CSI investigation and have a look if we can find clues as to what left this huge dung pile here. Hi Zebby. Where are you? There we go. Zebra keeping eye on us there. Well, let's get back to what I wanted to say. There is your first clue. Now look at this big dung ball. So straight away, it must be a large type of animal that left this. You can see these very distinctive scrape marks on the ground. Hope you guys can see that. Any ideas yet? Here's clue number three. Let's look inside. So if we break open this dung ball, and by the way, completely safe to handle any herbivore dung. When you handle carnivore scat, different story. We don't touch that. Perfectly, perfectly safe. Now let's look inside. If you can see that, the animal that's responsible for this only eats grass and that is our final clue big animal grass eater this is a white rhino now if this was a elephant and I know a lot of you you thought elephant if it was an elephant elephants are mixed feeders just having a look around elephants are mixed feeders so inside there you will find sticks bark leaves roots grass all of that Black rhino are browsers, they only eat leaves. So you would have found only leaves inside. So there's your answer. 
it's a it's a white rhino now why have you got all this on one heap here let's have a further look this is what you call a rhino midden rhinos will use the same latrine site over and over and the best way I can describe it it's like Facebook to rhinos it's a message board one rhino will deposit its dung here another rhino will come past also do it and they will start learning all about the other rhinos in the area through smell so they will come oh there is another bull in my area there is maybe a female rhino coming into estrus in my area and all those clues they pick up from this specific rhino midden and this communal latrine site you remember those scrape marks so a rhino bull as part of him marking his territory he will deposit his dung and straight afterwards he will then kick it open and that's what those marks were something something in this line do his business and then and then kick it open and that's what you saw there so that's a clear indication that there is a rhino bull here that marked his territory and that's also why it's all on a heap there as because that ball has been kicked open interesting you would say but what about these ones that's intact female rhinos don't kick open the ball they will just deposit their dung and don't kick it open so i can fairly safely say that whoever made this ball is not just a white rhino but a female white rhino and you can see we're right on a junction of two bush roads here one that way one that way so a very typical spot for rhino to have a midden so when they now walk say for up for instance up this road that rhino is leaving an invisible barrier, an invisible fence line telling other rhinos this is me, I'm here, I'm the boss in this area and it's because he kicked it open and that scent is now on his feet and he carries that scent further away That was our first safari adventure together. Time for feet up and a cold one. Remember, it's not only about showing you amazing things, I also want to teach you more about the African bush. So, if you've got any questions on this video or any questions in general, just leave it in the comments below and I will come back to you. Join the tribe, subscribe, the button is below the video, that way you won't miss out on anything. And I hope to see you next time. Bush greetings.